Good morning, RCC. Amen. Can you clap for Jesus this morning? Amen. Amen. We have only one name. There is only one name with the power to save, with the power to heal, with the power to redeem. Amen. Amen. And this name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There is only one name. There is only one name with the power to save, with the power to save. There is only one name.
now God is champion he reigns forevermore hallelujah forevermore and now God and everybody help me sing our God is champion he reigns forevermore
name of God. Upon the throne, yeah, he alone is worthy of our praise. Oh, he's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Yeah, he alone is worthy of our praise. Oh, he's the Lamb of God. Who sits upon the floor? Yeah, He Lord is worthy of our praise. You are here working in this place. We worship you. We worship you. You Working in now, Miss Jesus, hey, I worship you, my God, I worship you, say you are here, you are here, moving in now, Miss, I worship you, I worship you, I worship you, my God, say you are here. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, my God. I worship you. Say you are the way maker, way make miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. I worship you, I worship you, my God, I worship you, say you are here, I worship you, I worship you, my God, I worship you, I worship you, say you are, you are the way maker, way maker. Miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are the way maker, way make miracle. 
the word promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. Even, even when I don't see it, even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. Even when I, even when I don't see it, you working. Even when I don't feel it, you working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. Even when I, even when I, even when I, my God, you never stop. You never stop. You never stop. Even when I don't see, I'm sure you're doing it, Lord. Even when I don't feel it, you never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Oh, even when I don't see, even when I don't see, my God, I know you're still working for my sake. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop, you never stop, even when I don't see, even when I don't feel, you never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop. Even when I, even when I you working even when I don't feel it you working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop even when I even when I even when I you never stop working you never stop you never stop you Working in this place, we've come to worship you, my God. We worship you, Lord. You are here. We worship you, yeah. Oh. You are here. We worship you. We worship you. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working, even when I don't see it, you work. Even when I don't feel it, you working. You never stop, you never stop working. 
you never stop. Somebody just lift up your hands this morning. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank Him this morning. Lift up your voice this morning and bless the name of the Lord. Magnify Him and exalt Him. Exalt him in your own language. Begin to thank him for it is a good day to thank God that you are alive. That is a sign that God has not finished with you. In Jesus, mighty name, we have worship. Amen. This morning, we will go before the Lord and thank Him. Psalm 118 verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. From the verse 23, it said, This is what the Lord has done and it is marvelous. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Praise the Lord. And we will rejoice and be glad. Amen. Amen. There is a rejoicing and gladness in this day. May it be your portion. Amen. I said, there is a rejoicing and gladness in this day. Every day is God's day. Satan has no part in it. Amen. For God makes the day. And he said, you will rejoice and you will be glad. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anything short of that is not of God. Anything short of you rejoicing and being glad is not of God. For he made the day for you and I to be glad and to rejoice. Amen. That is why we pray and thank him. Father, thank you for showering us with the blessings of this day. Thank you for the rejoicing and the gladness of this day Amen. to you alone be all the glory. Amen. Will you pray with me and say, my father, my father, my father, my father as, we pray, as we pray in the name, in the name of, Jesus, of Jesus, we thank you, we thank for, you the for the rejoicing and the gladness, and the gladness of, this of this day. Lift up your voice. Begin to thank him. Thank him for the rejoicing and the gladness of this day. Somebody is praying. Somebody is praying. Take it. This is your portion. This is your place. You need to rejoice. Oh Lord, I am grateful. I am thankful for the rejoicing and the gladness of this day. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Say it. You will not see sorrow. Say it. You will not see sadness. The tragedies of this day 
will never be your portion. For anything short of gladness and rejoicing is not of the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. I will rejoice because the Lord has made this day. Somebody is praying. Oh Lord, we trust in you that today we will rejoice. Thank you for the rejoicing and the gladness of this day. Somebody is praying. Somebody is claiming it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. One of the prayers I always want to encourage you to pray is the help of God. Praise the Lord. David said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from where comes my help. My help will only come from the Lord. Psalm 121, reading from verse 1. Your help can only come from the Lord. Beloved, let me say this to you. Except the Lord builds the house, your labor is in vain. Why? Because he is the only one who can build and sustain. Praise the Lord. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from where cometh my help. Verse 2 says, My help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. One wise king was speaking in 2 Kings chapter 6, from verse 26 to verse 27. The wise king says something so profound and I want everybody to see it. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there came a woman who was crying, help me Lord, help me king. And the king said, if the Lord do not help you, where can I get help from? If God does not help me, if God does not help you, where do you get help from? Yes, you are doing what you are thinking. You, you are doing what you are doing because you think that it is you. No, it is help from above. And this morning, we are going to pray unto the Almighty God. Father, send me your help. Send me your help. If I believe in, Psalm, in the book of Psalm 62, I think from verse 11, it said, send us help, O Lord, for vain is the help of man. Is it... This is scripture, it is Psalm 62, verse 5. Maybe let's read verse 5. Praise the Lord. Send us help, O Lord, for vain is the help of man. It's also in the book of it's, it's also in the book of Psalm 118. He said, Send us help. Studio can look for that for me. For vain is the help of man. A man can help you to a point. Praise the Lord. A man can carry you to a point. But let me say this to you. When God is with you, he does not leave you in halfway. He takes you to the end. Amen. May you receive the help of God. Amen. I say, may you receive the help of God. Amen. Psalm 16 verse 11. Thank you, studio. He said, give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. Vain is the help of man. Some people can do things for you. They will use it to lash at you. They are the one who does this for you. They are the one who feed you. They are the one. But when God helps you, he takes everyone out of it. Praise the Lord. Coming to America was very, very difficult. I was going to all manner of 419. When the time came, for me to come to this country, God took everybody out of it. And God alone took the glory. Hallelujah. 
Amen. I don't know what you are doing, but you need the help of God. You need the help of God in your marriage. You need the help of God in your career. You need the help of God. Your daily activities has to be powered by the help of God. Never lean on your own. Never. Never lean on your own. If God does not help you, where will help come from? I love that scripture. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 27. He said, I shall give you help. Never put your trust on any man. Never put your hope on any man. Somebody can say, they are the one who will feed you. Without you, they cannot live. They will say all manner of things. But the day they will, sh they will pull themselves off you, you will be shocked. That means you don't need to rest upon anybody. Amen. Always rest upon the help of God. Amen. If the Lord doesn't help you, what can I do? I have neither food or from the threshold floor nor wine from the press to give you. If the Lord does not help you, you are going to pray, Lord, as I pray in the name of Jesus, send me help for the rest of my life. There are things you don't have to struggle for. When the help of God comes, you just move through. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, there are some doors that you have to knock before they will open you. There are some doors that you have to hold before you open. Praise the Lord. Am I speaking to somebody? There are some doors that you can even kick open. But there are some doors before you get there, they just open for you. Hallelujah. Hello? Amen. Automatic. When the help of God is upon a man, Things just work out for you. Amen. That is why you will pray with me this morning. Say with me, Father, 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 Father as, I pray, as I pray, in the name, in the name of, Jesus, of Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord send, me send me help, help in, every in every part of my life. Of my life. In, the in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord as, I pray, as I pray, send me help. Send me help. Somebody pray that prayer. Tell him the area that you need help. Send him help. Lord, send me help in this ministry the right people to work with send me help send me help send me help send me help in this ministry send me help in the media send me help in the choir send me help in the ministers with the pastors oh lord send me help send me help send me help somebody is praying my God, my Father, in every facet of my life, I ask for help. For you are my help. You are my help. You are my help. You are my help. You are my helper. You are my helper. Somebody is praying. Tell him, I need your help, oh Lord. I need your help, oh Lord. Somebody's crying out this morning. Somebody's crying out this morning. If you really need help, you will cry out. If you really need help, you will cry out. That situation that is not budging, ask for help in that area that gives you sleepless nights. Ask for his help. Ask for his help. Send me help. Send me help. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In the book of Psalm 89 verse 20, he said, I have found my servant David. With my holy oil have I anointed him. Praise the Lord. In verse 21, he said, verse 21, I will steady him with my hand. With my powerful arm, I will make him strong. Verse 22, he said, verse 22, please, his enemies will not defeat him. I say your enemies will not defeat you. Amen. 
the wicked will not overpower him. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Give me in King James. He said, his enemies shall not exert upon him. I will beat down his foes. I will beat down his foes before his, only, his own face. You will see your enemies falling before your eyes. Amen. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen? Praise the Lord. And I will plague them that hate him. Can God do that? He will do it for you. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. He said, anybody who, trust, who troubles David, I will trouble him. Amen. Hello? That is all what God is saying. Anybody who troubles David, I had an angel vis angelic visitation. And the angel said, from now onwards, I will beat down your foes. I had it. I know this morning, anyone who is troubling you is in trouble. Amen. You didn't say a bigger amen. amen. You are watching online, share the page. Make sure you are tagging and calling someone and make sure that you are joining this prayer because today, whosoever troubles you is in trouble. Amen. Galatians chapter 6 verse 17. Praise the Lord. Your enemies are God's enemies. He said, from henceforth, let no man trouble me. <laughs> For I bear in my body the mark. I carry a mark. I have an anointing. Let no man trouble me. Exodus chapter 22, 23 to 22. Exodus 23, 22. Exodus 23, 22. 22. He said, I will, your enemies will be my enemies. He said, but if thou will obey my, his voice and do as I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemy. And an adversary to your adversary. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. It is right for God to recompense unto your enemies when they trouble you. Praise the Lord. Seeing it is a right thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. This morning, my question is, who is troubling you? Oh Lord, trouble everyone that troubles me. Amen. As I pray this morning, trouble anybody from my father's house, my mother's house, my marital home, trouble anybody that troubles my life, my ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Trouble anyone that troubles my marriage, troubles my business, my career. Pray this prayer from your heart and every trouble in your life will cease. Amen. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen? Pray with me, say, Father, 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 Father as, I as I pray in the name, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus. O Lord, o Lord arise, arise, trouble, trouble any, man, any man, any woman that troubles me in the name of Jesus, as I pray, O Lord, arise, trouble anyone that troubles me in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. <laughs> trouble whosoever that troubles me trouble whosoever trouble whosoever trouble whosoever trouble whosoever that troubles me pray it fervently pray it pray it this is your prayer there are people troubling you there are people not giving you peace my God, my Father trouble whosoever that troubles me in my life in this ministry oh Lord as I pray trouble anyone that troubles me trouble them trouble them trouble them how deep how effective your prayer is will determine how your Lord will trouble them 
us. Anyone who troubles you at your job place, anyone who troubles you in your family, anyone who troubles you, oh God, arise. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You are Yahweh. Eh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Eh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are, you, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. Give the Lord a big clap offering this morning and please take your seat as we go into the word of God. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but our trust is in the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible speaking, it said, have faith in God. Praise the Lord. It is your faith in God that sustains everything around you. It is not your faith in your job that sustains your job. It is your faith in God that sustains your job. It is your faith in God that sustains your health. It is your faith in God that sustains your business. It is your faith in God. Praise the Lord. For those who trust in the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion. Praise the Lord. Those who believe in God, those who have faith in God, shall be like Mount Zion. He said, the Lord shall encamp around them as he encamps around the mountains of Israel. He said, he will not allow the rod of the wicked to rest upon the righteous, lest they put their hand into iniquity. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Have faith in God. Many are in church, only few have faith in God. Let me tell you, walking with God does not exempt you from trouble. Walking with God does not exempt you from attack. Walking with God does not exempt you from people but biting you. But hear this, they will never overcome. You didn't say amen to that. Because God cannot fail. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why you, 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 we saw Jesus going into attack, going into temptation. But did they win over him? No. no. He overcame. And Jesus said he overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of his testimony. Have faith that as long as you are holding on to God, you will never see shame. Amen. You will never fall. Amen. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen? Trust in the Lord. Those who trust in him can never be moved. They will abide. That means they can never fail. They can never fail. So that if God can fail and you are with God, you will not fail. Amen. I'm doing mathematics. Praise the Lord. If God cannot fail and you are with God, then you also cannot what? Yeah. Hallelujah. Is it not written in Romans chapter 8 verse 31? If God be for you, who can be against you? That's the mathematics. Praise the Lord. If God be, because no one 
can be with God and lose a battle? Why? He has never lost one and he will never lose one. Amen. That is why you and I need faith. Faith is what attracts God into your corner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Faith is what attracts God into your corner. Praise the Lord. And if God is in your corner, no one can corner you. Nice. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? He said, for without faith, this morning I think I'm doing more mathematics. It is impossible to please God. So faith brings God into your corner. It makes God to come. Praise the Lord. He said, for without faith, you can't get him to your corner. Praise the Lord. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Praise the Lord. So when we are in faith, there are things that come to us. And all throughout this week, we've been looking at the positive effects of faith on a Christian. The positive effects. When you say you are walking in faith, number one, you are full of strength. Strength. People find, wonder how you are doing it. God himself strengthens you in the face of adversity. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24. He said, if your, friend, if your strength fails in the days of adversity, then your strength is weak. Praise the Lord. Proverbs 24, 10, please. If your strength fails in the day of adversity, then that strength is weak. If thou faint in the day of adversity, that means in some days adversity will come, but it takes that strength. And when you are walking in faith, one of the positive side effects is strength. They called me one day. I was teaching in, in New York. I was teaching Bible school in New York. And they told me, your daughter is dead. I said, what? It's not possible. Go and tell the doctor and carry her to the house. He said, Dad. I said, I said, did you hear what I said? Take her to the house. I shut down my phone, went back to the classroom, and I started teaching. Whilst I was teaching, I said, you are the one who said, if I work for you, you will be my defender. You will take sickness out from the midst of me. And I will not cast any of my young. I was quoting well and I was teaching. Everybody was clapping. Nobody knew what I was going through. Praise the Lord. The attack was intense, but strength was available. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After the Bible school, I went and picked my phone and they said, She's up, she's alive. Hallelujah. And she's alive till today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Strength in the days of adversity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two, he gives you courage. Courage to do the undoable. Courage to say the unsayable. You dare the unterrible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Courage in the face of adversity. Talk is cheap. Praise the Lord. Everybody can say something. Only few can do it. Oh God, if you bless me one million, I'll pay my tithe 100,000. <laughs> but the day the one million will come, when you are taking the 100,000, you say, ah, this 100,000 is plenty. Old. You don't have the courage. There are times when challenge comes into our family. I remember very well. We carried all our money, laid it on the altar. Everything we had, laid it on the altar. Courage. And you are asking yourself, how am I going to live for the next day? Praise the Lord. 
and God showed up. You need courage. That's why God was speaking to Joshua. He said, have I not told you to be strong, strength, and to have courage? Praise the Lord. Perseverance. They are telling you, you know. And you are standing in front of them telling them yes. He said, what do you mean? I said, no, it will happen. What you are saying will not happen. Although I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. The economic situation is full of inflation. But the kingdom of God is full of blessing. Amen. You didn't say amen to that. Amen. Well, you must, it's not because I'm giving you motivational speech. No, it is scripture. It is the word of God. In the kingdom of Egypt, there was famine. But when God located a place for his people, there was plenty. In the land of Goshen, in the same Egypt, praise the Lord. So be courageous, be strong. Can I hear a bigger amen? Amen. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, hear the word of God. He said, be strong and be courageous. Don't be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. The person that is with you is the one that makes you to be strong. Hello? I've I've said, if somebody says he will kill you and he's holding a, a knife, and he's standing in front of you, making, yeah, yeah, I'll kill you. And you know you have a gun. Praise the Lord. And you have a gun. Am I helping somebody this morning? Yes, sir. So the positive effect of faith on a man, number one is strength. Number two is what? Courage. Courage. Number three is stability. Is what? Faith can help you to experience stability in the midst of instability. Everybody is shaking, but you are calm. <laughs> stability, what is it? It's a state of being firm, unwavering. In your emotions, you are angry, but you are stable. <laughs> You are not you are not misbehaving. You are you are angry, but you are not throwing your hand. You are angry, but you are not insulting. You are stable. Yes, they can say that you are angry, but they cannot hold you to any fault. Stable. Praise the Lord. Am I helping somebody this morning? Yes, sir. You have been fixed and solid, stable, not shifting. Let's read Colossians chapter 1 verse 23. Colossians 1, 23. Immovable but abounding. (laughs) He said, if ye be in the faith, grounded and settled. Did you hear that? It it makes you, ah, they say, this trouble is coming. So no problem, we are here. They say, this thing is coming. He said, no problem. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. Wherefore I poor, I was made a minister. If ye continue in faith grounded. You are serving God and you are not seeing results. So you think God has failed you. No. Don't shake. When faith is in place, there is no shaking. There's no shaking. Why? Because you know faithful is he who has called and will also do. Amen. Let me close with the scripture. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. Be stable. In the midst of instability. He said, therefore, my beloved brethren, this morning, 
you are the one I'm talking to. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. Sometimes I see some people, I, 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 I don't worry about them in ministry. Because even me, I could see the, the way they work in, in, in church. Their availability, their consistency. If I was God, I won't bless them. If it was me. Thank God I'm not a God. Because when they get money, they want to show up, flaunt themselves. They come around church and one, they want to be the pastor of the church, giving people unnecessary prophecy when nobody has called them. So it does not take long. They have money. They will never see to the welfare of the kingdom. They will never be a blessing in the house of God. And so it does not take long. Shim. They lose their job. They lose anything that God gave them. No. When you are with God, let me tell you, you don't go down. You didn't say amen. amen. No, I'm telling you, I've experienced it. If you are with God, you don't go down. Amen. Even in your lowest estate, you will still never beg. Amen. You will never beg. Amen. He is the one carrying you. Did you hear what we said this month? God cannot fail. So if you are with God genuinely, not showing off. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Always abounding in the work of God, even to the point of exhaustion. Praise the Lord. I traveled here Friday. I came to church to pray. After church, I stayed here to supervise. If everything is okay for the uh, I'll make a health fair. I came here Saturday morning. I stayed till 10 p.m. Went home, studied to come and preach Sunday morning. Praise the Lord. Two services. I finished Monday morning. I'm standing on the altar preaching morning prayer. There is nothing like I am tired. Why? Because God has sustained me. I am stable in the midst of confusion. In the midst of what is instability. He still sustains me. He said, they pay you for it. No, I was doing it without pay. Long. Long. And I was paying people. Rather. So it is the seed that you put down. That God watch and give you harvest. Amen. In the midst of faith. In the midst of faith. I met many pastors in the ministry. Many of them have fallen off. They have lost value. Because they are instable. May God stabilize you. Amen. I say, may God stabilize you. Amen. The challenge you are going through does not have power to overcome you. Amen. Hello? Amen. I say, whatever you are going through, mm -mm, don't, don't just give up. Remember, God cannot fail. Rise up on your feet. I feel like preaching, man. I'm up this evening. Don't miss this evening. We'll be praying. Don't miss this evening. You are watching on time online. Make sure you join us this evening. We are starting three days of the fear of the Lord. I'm going to show you some things about the fear of the Lord. Amen. And you, 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 you will never be the same. Amen. There are certain things when you know about God, your problem solves by itself. And that is the realm we are going. Lord, stabilize me in the midst of any instability. Oh God, stabilize me. In the midst of any instability, any, anything you are going through that is making you act anyhow. No. You are calm. Oh God, stabilize me in the midst of any instability. Is it at your job? Is it in your marriage? Be calm. God is with you. He has never left you. What is the doctor saying about you? What is the lawyer saying? What are they telling you about your health? Come. Praise the Lord. One elder of mine said, when you want to see beneath any water or any river, 
allow it to come and everything will settle and you will see through. When you want to see what is behind your troubles, calm, be stable, and you will see who is behind it. Lift up your voice with me this morning. Pray and say, my father, my father, my father, my father as, I pray, as I pray, in the name, in the name of, Jesus, of Jesus, by your help, by your help stabilize me in the midst of any instability. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer in the midst of any instability. Thank you and thank you in Jesus' mighty name. When we talk of stability, you are able to think when there is confusion. When there is trouble, you think easily. You say, no, 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 no. They said, we don't know what to do. You say, no, no, come. Do this, do this. And before you know, the problem is solved. That is where God has taken you this morning. Amen. Have you been blessed this morning? Yes, sir. Come on with joy. Let's share the grace together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our and we shall all remain blessed in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Remember, Jesus is Lord. We will see you this evening. Your day is blessed.